death had come to Alpenview. And death was apparently a young man with a box cutter and a dark blue hoodie who shielded their face from inquisitive eyes with a mask which bore the ancient sickle of the ever spiral carved into its bleached white surface. This serial killer had been gifted with the moniker of the Spiral Carver for their mask and particular method of mutilating their victims' bodies. A curfew had been put into effect, and now the dwindling population of Alpenview huddled inside at night, clutching hunting shotguns with their eyes trained on the doors and windows. And yet, the spiral carver's body count continued rising. There were whispers the young man wasn't entirely of this earth. Being able to silently unlock sealed doors with a word of command, or phase through solid brickwork and masonry like water. Naturally, all this had made it more than a little difficult for Lester Camille to sleep at night. The warning his mother gave him every night before he went to bed, that even if the spiral carver dragged her screaming into the night, she'd want him to wait inside no matter what, did little but foster unpleasant mental images. It was now well past 3 a.m., and he still hadn't been blessed with a wink of sleep. With nothing else he figured he could do, Lester made his way downstairs and poured himself a glass of orange juice. Although he couldn't place his finger on it at first as he gulped the beverage down, he felt something was off. And then he realized it. His family's house was far too quiet. The hairs on the back of Lester's neck stood on end, and he began to sweat, a profuse, cold sweat. Surely he was just being paranoid. He would check in on his mother's bedroom, his mother being the only other person who lived with him, and then go back to bed himself, reassured of her safety. Except, his mother wasn't in her bedroom or anywhere else. Lester prayed that this was a waking nightmare, but things seemed far too lucid, not anywhere close to the monotone, surrealistic tone that nightmares possess. After pacing around for some time, with tears streaming down his cheeks, Lester made his decision. Curfew be damned, he was going to look for his mother. He threw on a heavy fall jacket over his pajamas and donned a pair of finger gloves and a toque, as well as his hiking boots. He didn't take a weapon. Lester knew he wouldn't be able to push himself to fight back if attacked, being a pacifist and an unusually squeamish one at that by nature. Lester ran outside, not even bothering to shut the door behind him. He doubted any burglar would be as stupid as he was and try to break the curfew. He ran halfway down the street before realizing they had no clue which direction he should head in. It was then that he heard glass shattering and he whipped his head around. There they were, standing over a bottle that had been crushed to powder underneath a camo patterned sneaker. The spiral carver. A box cutter in his right hand. Lester then did something very unwise. He screamed at the top of his lungs. The spiral carver turned to face Lester, and Lester knew what he had to do. He had to run. And that's exactly what he started doing sprinting for several blocks at breakneck speed until he ducked into an alley between the high school and the church. The alley banked right, and Lester nearly face-planted headfirst into the wall, only stopping when he realized two things. The alley was a dead end, and there was a very unanticipated surprise waiting for him. No! 
it was impossible. The spiral carver had been waiting for him, standing at the end of the alley. The spiral carver began walking purposely towards Lester, who in his state of exhaustion and lightheadedness tripped and fell as he scrambled backwards in a true horror movie cliché fashion. The young man with the mask on his face and the box cutter in his hand seemed to tower over him as he approached. In the moonlight, Lester dimly realized that the hair of the spiral carver was partially hidden by their hoodie, but looked longer than he expected for a male's. As if to reaffirm that thought, the spiral carver paused as they knelt down, removing their mask. Mom? Lester asked in a stupor. What I'm about to do pains me, Lester, his mother replied. I am your mother. I carried you, and I bore you. I wanted to keep you safe, but I told you to wait inside no matter what.